Hey everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Ephemera. So thanks for joining me this evening, and thank you for everyone who subscribed. I have my custom URL now, and that's all because of you. So thank you so much for your support. So, oh, FYI, my street is unusually busy tonight, so hopefully you won't hear too many cars. Also, the train's been going by a lot too tonight, so... I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know what's going on. I live in the hood. But anyways, let's just get into our review tonight. So, as you can see in front of you, I have a copy of Pulse magazine. Um, Pulse was the in-store magazine for Tower Records um, at the time. And this issue is from 1986. Obviously with Michael Stipe with hair on the cover. Um, but, you know, just real quick, I'm not going to go into the whole history of Tower Records, but Tower Records is pretty badass. Like, if you didn't get to go, you're missing out because they had everything. Um, the best selection, imports, classical. Um, you could rent and buy videos there, buy concert tickets. Um, they always had the newest stuff, and they really were, you know, on the pulse of music, you know, as much as it kind of sounds cliche and cheesy, but it's true. So, this magazine's title is completely accurate. So, let's just get into it. And I didn't really, like, go through this, you know, when I got it. I did notice the ad on the back, and it's kind of a downer. So I don't like to end my videos on a downer, but we just can't help it. So you'll see. So anyways, it's REM, which that's okay. Ooh, the laser news. Because, you know, I need to know what's new with laser discs. Um, I know. Oh, look, to live and die in L.A. But, yeah, I guess so in the 80s, right? You needed to know what was going on. Ugh, Paul McCartney. Let's see. And I'm going to try to go through this a little fast so it's not too crazy. And I'll just point out stuff I think that's interesting. Ooh, Desert Island Discs. Uh, let me see. Oh, here's the goth right here. First, last, and always. I don't know why they picked the stones, but okay. Bauhaus, T-Rex, Lydia Lunch. Ugh, Jim Morrison, Virgin Prunes, Iggy, Donovan, Butthole Surfers. Yeah, so this chick's pretty cool. Um, oh, this guy wants Tarkus. That's pretty impressive, you know. I I'll give him that. Um, you know, I don't even think I can pick 10 albums I'd want on an island. I would just be like, just kill me. Just fucking kill me. I'm stuck on the island. But um, I guess if I had to pick some albums, I would. Um... Oh, this person likes remote control by the tubes. So good for them. And um, it's interesting. Music Madness for the Kinetic Kid. Clark Kent, which is really Stuart Copeland. So that's interesting they picked that. But let's go on. Let me know what your 10 uh, Desert Island discs are. And I'll post mine too once I think about it. Um, so let's see what else is going on. And so, you know, like here's... I know we could get more into it, but I'm just like... I don't want to bore you. Megadeth. I, I don't like Megadeth. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Moonlighting's Bruce Willis cutting tracks for Motown. Yes, we know, unfortunately. Um, we do. We do know that. Um, let's see. Wham plays final gig at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, we know that too. Um, so, you know, this is what's going on in music. So... <gasps> Win a double platinum record by Aerosmith. Oh, I'm so excited. Does it have Dude Looks Like a Lady on it? Because, oh, well, is that 86? 87? 86? Yeah, maybe. So, ooh, but it, they do have the nice price, which I appreciate. So, um, oh, I thought this was Tim Curry. No, it's Jello. Sorry, it was just a quick glance. Huey Lewis in the news for do. Eminently, I'm oh, sorry. I don't have my glasses on. Fun fact, Huey Lewis on the Four Tour was my very first concert ever, ever. My mom took me. So I got a little bit of cred. Not great cred, but a little bit of cred. <gasps> Members of the Kiss Army goes AWOL. Vinnie Vincent Invasion, fuck yeah. So I'm, I'm going to buy that at Tower Records. Um... And he had, like, the lamest kiss makeup, really. I mean, there's no offense to Vinnie Vincent, because I think he truly got fucked on that. But the onk? I'm like, really? 
So um, I'm on, on Team Vinnie Vincent on that. Let me see. So they had jazz, world music, classical. Tower Records had it all. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk concerts. Okay. In excess, a special guest, Del Fuegos at Irvine Meadows. Ooh, Sparks at the Palladium. And then uh, Oingo Boingo. Ooh, and the Oingo Boingo Halloween show, which they did every year for like ever until they broke up. Um, and if you notice, I look at the, okay, I'm not going to go ranting, but for like real seats, 1750 or 1650 to sit on the lawn is 1250. Same thing for in excess. Like you can't even get a concert ticket for like, uh, I mean, I'm trying to think last time I bought tickets, they were like 60 bucks. So that is ridiculously cheap. Um, it doesn't say how much sparks is, but Irvine Meadows and you know, if you grew up in Southern California, like me, you have very fond memories of Irvine Meadows because that's where all the concerts were, obviously. Um, but let's talk Irvine Meadows for a minute, guys. It, re it was a pretty shitty venue, really. I, I know, we all love it. We all loved going and seeing concerts, but it was pretty shitty. The sound was shitty and mucky sounding. Um, you had to walk a million miles to get to your seats and get in the fucking place. Um, the lawn was terrible because it was like almost at like a, a 90 degree angle. So if you were standing on the lawn all night, your calves were killing you and you're gonna fall off. Um, lion Country Safari was next to it. So you ran the risk of getting eaten by an escaped lion. So overall it's fond memories, but not a, a fond venue, you know, but I wish I can go back in time to see Oingo Boingo Halloween concert at Irvine Meadows, totally. Oh, is that George Clinton? Okay. Timbuk three. Well, why is there only two of them? Huh? Let's see. Oh, REM. Makes me want to go to sleep. Want want. Oh, the REM Desert Island Collection. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, you guys can see it. Uh, no. They all kind of suck. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bill Berry. He has like kind of like the the coolest ones and the you know ones I can stand listening to, and they don't seem super pretentious. So, um, although Michael Stipe does have Exotica Two by Martin Denny, why not Exotica One? Anyways, so that was interesting. Now I got to think of my Desert Island discs. So to, to post them on this video, Eddie Money. Ooh. Featuring the new single, Take Me Home Tonight. So that's pretty cool. The Fix. Oh, I do like Secret Separation. I think that was the only hit on that album, though. Oh, shit. Get your tapes, guys. Get your headphones with the orange headphone foamy cover things. I remember that. I I had that cassette cover, too. Uh, Case Logic. Mine was, like, aqua green. I had that. Cigarettes. Tell arc. Oh, okay. Snore. Move. Oh, I know. Video killed the radio star. I know. I get it. I get it. Scorching country rhythms is not what I would think when I would see Marie Osmond, but, you know. I'm an asshole. Sorry. <gasps> oh, just released it on sale at Tower Records. Oh my god, my mind is blown up. Oh, bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Oh my god. So oh, I'm kidding. Um, I will say, though, I'd rather listen to Living on a Prayer than Pour Some Sugar on Me. Am I right? Oh, exactly. So, uh, yeah. That was when they were brand new. So. Oh, Stand By Me. Yay. Oh, let's get some blank tapes. Uh, Steve Winwood. Oh, this is before we had to listen to that shit for like three years. Yeah. Smithereens. I like Smithereens. Ooh, Pet Shop Boys. I'd buy that. Oh, I thought that was Dio. That's not Dio, though, huh? Andreas Wollenweider. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's a good album. So, okay. This must be early September then, I'm guessing, if this deal ends September 15th. So, uh, 
What else? Ooh, Jean loves Jezebel. Desire. I like that one. Oh, look at this one. I like rumors too. <laughs> Tapping into Gregory Hines. Wah, wah. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying, guys. I'm trying. New releases on video. Anatomy of Terror. Bloody Birthday. Bloody Birthday Again. Devil's Web. Human Duplicators. Maniac. Ooh. Supernaturals. Torture Chamber of Barren Blood. Huh. Oh. Mondo Elvis. Saturday Night Serials. Sleaze Mania. Weird Cartoons. They did have good videos at Tower. I mean, just to rent, even. Uh, Al Jarreau. Is he going to make a face while he sings? I hope so. Let's see what else. Patti LaBelle. Ooh! You know, that's my favorite Michael McDonald song. Sweet Freedom. I'm not going to do my Michael McDonald impression because, well, if I have to. It's, you know, oh, sweet freedom, turn your light on me. See, it, you know, that's, that's, that's all you need to do to do Michael McDonald, really. It's, you know, you don't even need to know the words because he doesn't even know the words. So you just have to do the voice. So it's like, a, you know, like, what a fool believes. But, you know, there you go. Tips, tips for good impressions from D. McKinney. So don't make me do my, my Bill Cosby because that's even worse. So let's see. Oh, now we're in the jazz section. So... Oh, this is interesting. Compact disc cleaning and protection. So that must have been when CDs were just coming out. So. Glass Tiger. Rock and Roar. Okay. Ooh. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Scott Joplin's Ragtime Gems enter the. Di really? 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 Do we need that in digital? No. What else do we have? Spectacular new releases. A people I've never heard of. Great. Ugh, Queensryche. Ugh. Oh, God. Super, super lame, guys. Rap music. Who's that? Oh, full four. Okay. Okay. Rat in Me Kitchen is the only UB40 song I know that is not a cover. Because every song they do is a cover. That's like the only one. So, I really, let me know another non-cover UB40 song and then we'll talk business. Let's see. Oh, look, here we go. See? You guys are begging for it. So it's like, you know, kids today. I know, that's terrible, Cosby. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, you see, I got the new comedy record coming out and I got the sweater on and then I'm like, Theo, see, that's better than the Michael McDonald. You know, I try, I try sting tower records. We got your imports. You sure did. Oh no, guys. Well, I don't even know who that is. So, oh, isn't that, it feel like pina coladas. Oh, here we go. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a, uh, you know, adult contemporary. What's that? Oh, giving you the best that I got. Like, I just remember being a kid and I would hear that like in every store. Like you go shopping at Mervyn's and they'd fucking play it. Uh-oh. Nick Cave. Oh, we love Nick Cave. That's pretty good. Oh, isn't he the drag queen guy in Vegas who does Joan Rivers? No. No, no, that's not him. Sorry. Sorry, I thought it was. Oh, about last night. Oh, charts. Uh, do we need to go into the charts? Uh, well, number one, True Blue by Madonna on the Chain Wide Pop LPs. The 12 inch single is uh, Venus by Bananarama. And uh, Buyer's Pick, True Blue by Madonna. Um, I thought that was 87. Maybe I, I thought, oh, anyways. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, REM again. Okay, are we ready for the downer as it end to this video? That, that's the sound of me putting my fake gun to my head. Really, I like two songs by Paul Simon. The You Can Call Me Owl and um, Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard. Yeah. Um, 
And you know what? I'll be honest. When that came out, when I was a kid, I really thought that was Chevy Chase singing. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but other than Vacation, that really was the best thing Chevy Chase ever did. So anyways, that's this magazine. Um, I would like to go into it in more detail, but I don't want to make a super long video. But if there's anything you guys wanted me to go back on and see, let me know. And I'll like scan the charts for you or an ad or whatever you need. So like I always say, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell a friend, and thanks for watching Ephemera. So let me know your desert island pics in the comments. If you have any other comments, let me know, and I'll talk at you soon. So have a good night, guys. Bye.